this is Kalias von Kreatives Leben and uh, I have decided today to show you how I paint one of my watercolor paint, uh, paints and this is a face. Basically what I did just before, I just sprayed some water on my face and what you also can see is that I have already sketched my face with a water uh, soluble pencil. This is because I feel that um, this is not very an in, not a very interesting step for you. There is a lot of back and forth, and I go in with my um, um, I, 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 I I remove stuff, and you know it, it's and I I feel sometimes that you don't see everything as well. So that's why I have. Uh, I have not recorded this. And um, basically what I do, I have taken my Schminke uh, colors. I was uh, I was thinking about using my Graham, uh, my M. Graham uh, watercolors, which I really love. They are so colorful. They are so juicy. This is just amazing. But somehow um, I still like my Schminke very much. I love the fact that I can just mix the different colors. I have so much variety. The Grahams are so expensive, so I don't have that many colors. I know you can mix most colors, and this is really true. Um, so, for example, my Caucasian uh, what um, skin color is a mix. I don't like the Caucasian uh, um, skin color provided by... Uh, Schminke, it is very opaque, and I don't like that. I prefer my. I this is what I like about uh, doing watercolors. I love the transparency of it. So I am mixing my colors myself, and that's why I have different tones, different shades. And um, right now I am working mostly on the shadows, and uh, I've started very with a very light uh, skin color, and then I use some. Uh, a wash with with more reddish pink uh, color, and now I'm going more into my brown tones. I think I'm using quinacridone. I think the quinacridone um, as a gold is actually from Schmidt, if I recall. Uh, they have this wonderful uh, quinacridone. I mean, I love the golden quinacridone uh, as a gold, and in watercolors, it's also a wonderful color. It's a very warm tone, very juicy and transparent. So. So, uh, perfect for what I'm doing and uh, right now I'm only painting the skin and you will see this is something I have done on purpose because I'm going to have very uh, different backgrounds and I could have started with the backgrounds maybe you you wonder why didn't she start with the backgrounds um, I have a tendency to be very um, to, to, to go over the top with my background so I, I was worried that I would have um, a back my background was showed on my face and I didn't want to have that I really wanted to have my my face uh, untouched and and really standing by itself and being the uh, the central piece of this this painting and um, I also have a new uh, brush which I really love this is a thin one which I prefer less it's 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 supposed to be a watercolor brush, this one, but I'm not quite sure it is because it doesn't react like a watercolor brush. It is not as juicy and it doesn't contain as much water as my other brush. I have this very thick brush and I really love it. It's it's just such a pleasure. It 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 stays there, it doesn't move, it it has yeah. I I think brushes are very important for watercolor. So if you want to start, I know you shouldn't um you know splurge in having everything but for me beside the paper i think the paper is the most important one something you can see here is uh, it's um the what the the pages is, is warping because this is uh moleskine and it's not really ideal for watercolors but you know this is art journaling and this is having fun and this is all i care so basically what you see me doing here is spraying i took some gold spray i took a purple spray and i sprayed prayed while protecting my face so I created a mask out of uh, uh, cardboard and put it on top and because I'm using marabou uh, art sprays they are actually acrylics they're not watercolors and so they're not moving 
And this is wonderful because, you know, I love my um, mandalas. And so now I have mandalas in the background. I can spray. I can go on top with my watercolors and you can still see what I have just sprayed. This is just amazing. If it would have been, I mean, you could also do it with water soluble sprays, but um, they might not stay as crisp as what you see here. And because I like the effect so much of really seeing my um, mandala, um, I decided to try to do something similar. So I'm using my stencil again. This time I'm going in with intense pencil. And my idea is to create like a, something uh, into the dress that she's wearing. And I'm activating now every little piece that I have drawn and the, 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 the red and the purple. And so this is meant to be like a... Um, yeah, some some playful background for her dress. And to be honest, I'm not that convinced that it was a great thing to do. But, you know, I, it's a trial and error. Um, and uh, because I preferred the other way, the other uh, pencil and the sprays, I decided, um, but as a contrast, because I wanted to contrast to the, to the top, I decided to go in with some gold and to have more of a golden spray dress rather than the um, uh, what what we have on the top and here again because it's not enough gold you can never have enough gold I took my Kuratake uh, gold paint and this is a lovely paint and I chose the kind of gold I wanted because they have different shades of gold and um, I really love uh, her dress as well and I'm putting in some purple to to mix up and it becomes a bit boring. That's why I decided to go in with red because I love red. I love red. And this means because I'm bringing a new color, it means I need to go in into a face. And I will add also some red color accents into a face so that um, the red is not like just outside and it's, it's you know, it's a more... Um, it's more uh, linked to each other. And uh, you will see, I am, I somehow didn't record one important step, which is the next one, which is the hair. And so I will basically tell you what I did. Uh, on another painting I did, which was more of a whimsical face I created, I had used some uh, Indian ink and I really loved the effect, but it's a very harsh, very black I mean, you know, if you want to have black, it's obviously a very black color. Um, but I felt that my face was very soft and I didn't want to have that. So I decided to go in with an acrylic uh, ink, which is not as dark, but I think more fitting. Uh, I didn't want to use watercolors because the watercolors are very light. It's transparent. It's almost gray, basically. And now you see me doing the final steps. And um, the final steps are quite important. I'm going in with some Luminance uh, Carondash uh, pencils. And I'm just, um, you know, tweaking, especially the eyes. It's easier to do it with a pencil, I think. And it's probably because I'm not also that skilled. But also I feel that it gives more depth. You know, now I have created like some little lashes and... Here you even see me using gel pen and that's, you know, I still say I'm a, a mixed media artist. Even if I do watercolors, for me, it's okay to use other media. It's not just all about watercolors. It's about having fun and using what makes uh, sense. And here, the most important part I'm using, I'm adding some white accents. Um, this makes your eye pop. This makes your uh, eyes come to life. And I really like her. I think she um, is very mystical and um, very, diff well, I think different to many of the things I've done before. Uh, she's based on a picture out of the internet, by the way, just in case you wondered, so not out of my head. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me your thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel to get some more of my videos. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye bye.